Um, so, Congressman, where is she going? I, I would imagine she quits her job maybe before the weekend, uh, but that won't matter. You guys want to talk to her, right? Yeah, well, one of the reasons why I've not formally called on her to resign, which she most certainly should do and she should be removed, uh, is I do want to hear from her. Uh, I do want her to come before the committee. I do want her to come before Congress. And look, she's scheduled and I think it said she was supposed to come before the Homeland Security Committee this week. We have Christopher Ray coming before the House Judiciary Committee. But it's pretty inexcusable. Uh, there, I, I can't find any uh, real defense for what we saw unfold. The average American is watching this and they're saying, is this the best we got? Is this the signal we're sending to the world uh, that this is how we protect the commander in chief or future commander in chief or former commander in chief? And people keep talking about this being such a problem because it was a former president. This is the Republican nominee for president of the United States, the current leader in the polls in November. When our current commander in chief can't spell cat if you spot him the C and the T, and we're now looking at this attack on President Trump, that's an attack on the country. So we don't know all of the facts and the details, but we know that they had him labeled as suspicious almost an hour before. We know that by 551 at a minimum, Secret Service knew. That's a full, I think, 11 minutes before the president took the stage. And we don't yet know the story about the roof and all this slope nonsense. Right, right, right. But the fact that it was 130 or 40 yards away is inexcusable. What is that? And, and, and I know you get intelligence briefings, so there's only so much you can share, Congressman. I certainly understand that. But, uh, but we're learning right. a little bit more about the shooter, Thomas Brooks, and then that uh, 20 years old, he had a laptop, some searches on his phone indicate uh, searches under the names of Biden and Trump. Uh, so I don't know what that's about. Uh, but but that he was spotted as an individual of interest, depending on who you talk to. Um, and he, he was spotted physically an hour before, um, you know, the, the, the event last Saturday in, in Butler. Uh, and some people did raise that and point him out as, as someone who, who should be watched. So th there's a lot we haven't connected yet, but, but there's, there is a pattern here where it would appear, once again, authorities pounced too late. Well, there's no question, right? And, and look, the reason that there are you know, theories that are, that are flying around out there about whether it was purposeful or not is because nobody can believe that anybody could be this incompetent. I mean, that's truly the case, Neil. And, and the fact of the matter is, that's why we need to pursue the truth here to understand what happened. Look, we know there's a competency problem. When, it, when you've got an agency, the Secret Service, tasked with protecting the President of the United States, among other tasks, and then our entire uh, apparatus from the Defense Department all the way through the FBI and all of our security agencies, when they're so focused on DEI, when the head of the Secret Service says our big priority is 30 percent, you know, females and, and making sure our DEI is being done. Why do you have an agent who's, you know, five foot four protecting a six foot, you know, two or three, whatever, however tall President Trump is president? It makes no sense. We are turning everything on its head. And the average American is watching this. And the average Americans that were there in Pennsylvania who were literally looking up and saying, hey, there's a guy on the roof. Right. That, if that's what we're left with in terms of protecting the president, we know, Neil, and look, this is important because it's not just the Secret Service. It's our entire government that has been turned into a social engineering experiment. That is All right. We lost audio with you, DEI Congressman. Went. I apologize for that. Uh, we're having some problem there, but I'd love to get you back. Uh, you raise a lot of issues here that no doubt will come up next week uh, if and when she shows up for some of these hearings. Chip Roy of Texas. Uh, in the meantime,